Continuing the practice of cyanide fishing in Sabah can cause long-term damage to its ecosystem. State of the Coral Triangle report di bawah part of the program on the Coral Triangle Initiative masih lagi healthy, tetapi ada juga kawasan-kawasan untuk menyin di kawasan Sabah. Uh, sebab itu di bawah Coral Triangle, you know, more than uh, 5,000 species of fish and then more than 500 species of corals. Jadi kita concern. Sebab kaedah uh, apa, me, apa, mendapatkan ikan, ya, uh, uh, coral reef uh, species tu, ikan-ikan yang eksotik semua tu, cara mengebom ya, dengan cyanide dan sebagainya. Tapi National Oceanography Directorate uh, Under Secretary Professor Tato Dr. Noor Aini Mokhtar said this at the World Ocean Day and Coral Triangle Day celebration at Aquaria KLCC on Saturday. The Coral Triangle is a vast ocean expanse that geographically spreads across six countries in Southeast Asia and the Pacific, including Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands and Timor-Leste. It's sometimes referred as the Amazon of the Seas, providing grounds and migratory routes for commercially valuable open ocean species and hosting about three-quarters of the world's coral species as well as 37% of its reef fish species. Dr. Noor Aini says the Malaysian government remains committed to becoming a watchdog of the coral reef ecosystem and is formulating a more systematic approach to monitor the situation. Projek-projek macam tukun tiruan, ya, dengan sirim, uh, dengan NOD, ya, di mesti kita... Um, bagi sokongan uh, apa, grant ya, penyelidikan uh, kepada pihak-pihak uh, tertentu daripada fisheries department dan sebagainya untuk lihat kawasan untuk spawning ground. Malaysia is hosting the Coral Triangle Initiative Conference for the first time to deliberate on the measures taken to conserve the area in a sustainable manner. The three-day conference begins on June 10th.